In this video, we'll see how to place the DX range selector widget from the Chart.js library onto a web page. This widget allows end users to select a range of values on a numeric or date time scale. In this tutorial, we'll show how to zoom a chart series according to the range that is currently selected in the DX range selector widget. I've already created a simple web page and added a reference to the JavaScript file where I'm planning to set configuration options for the DX range selector widget. Now I'm going to reference the Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery libraries it depends on. I'll use the new get way to download the required libraries into my sample. For this purpose, right click the solution in the Solution Explorer and then click Manage New Get Packages in the Invoked menu. Type Chart.js in the search box and then click Install. As you can see, NuGet retrieves the Chart.js library from the specified package source and installs it in the project. Since Chart.js is dependent on Globalize and jQuery packages, NuGet installs them as well. Like any widget from the Chart.js library, the DX range selector widget can be added using the jQuery or knockout approach. Here I'm using the jQuery approach and adding the DX range selector widget using the DX range selector plugin. First, Let's set start and end values for the range selector scale. Now we can see what the range selector looks like and how it behaves with the default settings. Let's provide the capability to select a range in a chart. For this purpose, we'll place a chart in the range selector's background. To do this, specify a data source for the chart, and set the data source fields that will be used as a source for arguments and values of the chart series. The range selector scale displays the chart's argument axis, so we can remove the start and end values specified earlier. The scale will be created automatically based on data specified for the chart's argument axis. Okay, let's take a look at the result. We can now select a range in the chart. Finally, Let's integrate our DX range selector widget with a standalone DX chart widget. I will quickly configure a chart. When the selected range changes, access the chart and change the minimum and maximum values of the argument axis. In addition, set the Call Selected Range Changed option to On Moving to call the Selected Range Changed function that we've introduced while moving the sliders, not when their movement is complete. As you can see, we can now zoom the chart using the DX Range Selector widget. When publishing a project on a server, you may wish to use a link to the Chart.js library from the Content Delivery Network. Let's copy this link from our documentation to see how it works. To learn about range selector elements and ways of customization, refer to the documentation at devexpress.com. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.